Australia's MQ-28A Ghost Bat Program, a collaboration between Boeing Australia and the Royal Australian Air Force, has emerged as a cornerstone of next-generation air combat capabilities, showcasing remarkable advancements in autonomous systems and manned-unmanned teaming. By July 2025, the program had achieved significant milestones, solidifying its role in reshaping modern warfare and enhancing Australia's strategic posture in the Indo-Pacific. With over 100 test flights, a pivotal demonstration of multi-drone control from an E-7A wedge tail, and plans for live-fire weapons testing, the Ghost Bat is transitioning from prototype to a critical force multiplier. The MQ-28 Ghost Bat, designed to operate alongside crewed platforms like the F-35A, F-A-18F, and E-7A wedge tail, embodies a modular, open architecture approach that allows rapid adaptation for missions such as intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and potentially strike operations. By March 2025, the program had completed over 100 hours of flight testing and 20,000 hours of digital testing, validating the aircraft's airframe, mission systems, and sensors. A key milestone occurred on June 16, 2025, at the Woomera Test Range in South Australia, when a single operator aboard an E-7A wedge tail successfully controlled two MQ-28 drones and a simulated aircraft in real time. This demonstration, part of the Capability Demonstration 2025 campaign, showcased the aircraft's ability to act as forward sensors, relaying tactical data to a strike package while enhancing situational awareness and mission resilience. The trial underscored the potential for a single crew member to orchestrate multiple uncrewed assets from an airborne early warning and control platform, marking a leap forward in MUM-T integration. This achievement builds on earlier successes, such as the April 2025 Exercise Carlsbad at Royal Australian Air Force Base Tyndall, where the Ghost Bat operated outside Woomera for the first time. Transported via a Boeing c Globe Globemaster III, the aircraft demonstrated its deployability in unfamiliar environments alongside F-35A and MQ-4C Triton units. These tests highlight the Ghost Bat's versatility with its modular nose design, enabling rapid payload swaps for diverse missions. The aircraft's open systems architecture developed in collaboration with the Defense Science and Technology Group and the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, ensures compatibility with existing and future platforms, fostering a networked, family-of-systems approach that amplifies sensor coverage, data fusion, and strike reach. The program's strategic significance cannot be overstated, particularly in the context of rising tensions in the Indo-Pacific. The E-7A Wedgetail's ability to direct multiple ghost bats in flight offers a transformative approach to airborne command and control, complicating enemy targeting and enhancing survivability against near-peer threats, such as a rapidly modernizing Chinese military. By distributing air combat functions across crewed and uncrewed assets, the Royal Australian Air Force can project power while reducing risks to pilots. The Ghost Bat's estimated cost, approximately 10% of a joint strike fighter, or 8 to 10 million USD per unit, makes it an attractive option for achieving affordable mass, a priority outlined in Australia's 2024 National Defence Strategy. Significant investments and infrastructure development support the program's progress. In February 2024, the Australian government allocated an additional 399 million Australian dollars bringing total funding to over 800 million Australian dollars. This investment is driving the production of three Block II aircraft, featuring enhanced sensors, redesigned wings, and upgraded autonomous systems, expected to be delivered by the end of 2025. Additionally, Boeing Australia is constructing a 9,000 square meter production facility at the Wellcamp Aerospace and Defense Precinct in Toowoomba, Queensland, set to be operational by 2027. This facility will support carbon fiber composite manufacturing and advanced robotic assembly, enabling scaled production to meet both domestic and potential export demands. 
Over 200 Australian companies, including 50 small and medium enterprises, contribute to the program, sustaining over 350 jobs and reinforcing Australia's defence industrial base. Weapons integration is another critical development, with Boeing announcing plans at the Avalon Air Show in March 2025 to conduct live-fire air-to-air missile tests by early 2026. This follows earlier debates about whether the GhostBat would focus solely on ISR roles, with Defense Industry Minister Pat Conroy confirming interest in strike capabilities. The aircraft's weapons bay and modular design position it to potentially carry air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions, enhancing its role as a force multiplier. These advancements align with the Royal Australian Air Force's goal of acquiring at least 10 MQ-28s by the end of 2025 for operational use, with ongoing CD-25 trials involving F-AT-18F and F-35 aircraft to refine MUM-T tactics. International collaboration further amplifies the program's impact. The U.S. Air Force is testing at least one MQ-28 as a technology feeder for its collaborative combat aircraft program, with a CCAA project arrangement signed in March 2023 facilitating data sharing. While Boeing did not bid the Ghost Bat for the U.S. CCA Increment 1, it remains a contender for future increments and other international customers, potentially under the AUKUS framework. Interest from Five Eyes Nations and the U.S. Navy underscores its export potential, though competition from other CCA programs such as those by Anduril and General Atomics poses challenges. The Ghost Bat's low cost and adaptability make it a compelling option for allies seeking to bolster autonomous capabilities. Despite these advancements, uncertainties remain. The Royal Australian Air Force's long-term funding beyond 2026 is not guaranteed, and procurement recommendations expected by mid-2026 will be critical. The program's success hinges on continued government support and its ability to deliver operational value. Additionally, while the Ghost Bat's technological edge is clear, its export prospects depend on navigating complex international acquisition processes and competing with established players in the global CCA market. The MQ-28 Ghost Bat program represents a bold step toward the future of air combat, blending cutting-edge autonomy with human-machine collaboration. Milestones like the June 2025 Wedgetail trial and the upcoming weapons tests demonstrate its readiness to transform Royal Australian Air Force operations. As Australia invests in infrastructure, industry partnerships, and international collaboration, the Ghost Bat is poised to redefine air dominance, offering a scalable, cost-effective solution for modern warfare. With the Indo-Pacific security landscape growing increasingly complex, the program's emphasis on interoperability, resilience, and affordability positions it as a vital asset for Australia and its allies, signaling that the era of collaborative combat aircraft is not a distant vision, but an emerging reality.